831 on your Wednesday morning, she originally said she would resign as St. Louis Circuit Attorney on June 1st. But instead, Kim Gardner steps down more than two weeks earlier. Fox News' Chris Renee is downtown with what happens now in the Circuit Attorney's Office. Governor Mike Parson has appointed his general counsel, Evan Rodriguez, as the acting interim St. Louis Circuit Attorney. Rodriguez has already been sworn in, and we understand he will be in the office this morning. The Circuit Attorney's Office is inside the Carnahan Courthouse just behind us here. Take a look at a picture of Evan Rodriguez, who is 28 years old. We understand Rodriguez will be in charge here until Governor Parson appoints an official new St. Louis Circuit Attorney. We're told he hopes to do that by this Friday. A team from Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey's office is also here assisting in the transition. Gardner originally said she would resign June 1st, but instead she left yesterday. A statement from her office reading in part, effective immediately, Kimberly M. Gardner will end her service as the city of St. Louis circuit attorney. Ms. Gardner has been committed to serving the people of the city of St. Louis and has done all she can to ensure a smooth transition. In her statement, Gardner said that she worked with St. Louis County prosecuting attorney Wesley Bell to make sure a comprehensive transition plan was in place. Prosecutors from around the St. Louis area are offering to help as well. A spokesperson for Governor Parson says he is interviewing five of the 18 people who applied to replace Gardner. Three of those interviews are scheduled for today. Parson and Bailey spoke about the circuit attorney's office moving forward. We also talked with the Reverend Daryl Gray, a Gardner supporter who was in a meeting with the governor yesterday. We need somebody in there right now just to stabilize things and make sure we're doing the functions of, of the prosecutor's office to make sure we're going after hardcore criminals in this city and in this state. People are scared, victims are hurting, crimes going unprosecuted, and we're fighting to hold her accountable and stand in the gap to ensure public safety. I think that she took so many hits uh, that she finally had to make a decision what was in her personal best interest. We talked about qualifications, what we thought the qualifications should be. Uh, we thought that it should be somebody who was not polarizing. Uh, we made it very clear, should somebody uh, who has uh, a knowledge, a historical knowledge and a cultural knowledge of this community. Uh, we stress that we thought it should be an African American. A spokesperson for Governor Parsons says in a best case scenario, the new circuit attorney will be sworn in this coming Monday, but at this point, it's unclear if that will be possible. The new circuit attorney will serve out Gardner's term, which ends in January of 2025. Reporting downtown, I'm Chris Frenier.